Hello and welcome. This is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Sheep Cottage. So Cricut recently released the ability to organize your projects. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of projects in Cricut Design Space and I could use organizing. So I thought what we would do, like I haven't even tried the feature. I thought we would just go ahead to the computer. You can take a look at the mess behind the scenes of my projects and we'll start putting them into what they're calling collections. And collections would be like the folders on your computer. So if you have, you know, several files on your computer and you organize them by folder, that's what collections are gonna be. So they're the ability to take your projects and put them into folders so you can find them more easily. So let's head to Design Space and take a look at this new feature and how it works. All right, let's talk about organizing projects. So I'm gonna organize existing projects, but I will talk about when you create a new project, what to do with it. But let's take a look at our existing projects first. I have a ton of them. None of them are organized at this point, so we're gonna run through how to do that. So what you wanna do over here in, under collections is make collections that work for you. So they might be seasons, they might be types of projects. So I might have one that is mugs. I do a lot of test projects, so I can do tests. And then I have projects that I share with you. And I might have some more as I go through them. And then I can click organize and I can start moving these. So I can see that these are tests. Um, let's see. These were some tests, this was a test, test. So I clicked several and now I can click next. And I want to put those into tests. Now you could click more than one collection. So I could put them in two different ones if I wanted to. And I can add a new collection from here if I've decided that they need to go in a second collection or one that I haven't created already. Then we'll click done. And that moved them into the tests collection. And then when I click on the collection over here to the side, I will just see the ones that I've added to there. You can also click this pencil to edit the name at any time. And you could delete the collection entirely. That would just delete the collection. It wouldn't delete the, te the projects inside the collection. So let's go to all projects again. So you click all my projects at the top. And we'll organize a few more. So click organize and we'll do a few that were blog projects or soon to be blog projects. You're getting a sneak peek of some stuff as well. And then these are actually mugs. So I'll wait on those. And that's a mug. I've done a lot of mugs lately. So blog projects, blog projects. This was a blog project. That was a blog project. All right, so now we'll click next and we'll move those to blog projects. So now I could keep going, right? So I have all my projects and I can just cl keep clicking organize and organizing those into different folders so that in the end I can find things more easily because with 333 projects it can be difficult to find things. If you want to do them one by one if you don't like you know clicking the organize and picking what you want you can click on each one and edit collections and then put them in a collection from there. And that would just put the one project into a collection. So you can do that as well. So now let's take a look at a new project and how this will work. So once I have all 333 of my projects organized, I can have goals like that. What happens if I make a new project? So I'm, I was working on some stuff, I'm gonna replace that. And let's just add a 
star or something. And I want to save this. So we'll go over here to save. And I'm going to call this test for organization. And my collections came up on the bottom. So now I just click test and click save. So after I've organized all my projects for every new project, I can go ahead and put it into a collection as I'm working. And that way everything stays organized and where I need it to be. All right, so now that I know how it works, I still have a lot more work to do, a lot more projects to organize, and hopefully get a little more organized behind the scenes in Cricut Design Space so I can find things a little bit easier. So my main problem is like I like to share the links for the project I make on my blog or YouTube channel so that you can make it as well. And then someone asked me a question about that project that I need to reference it and go back to it. It is so hard to find the actual project in Design Space. Um, so I tend to do kind of that death scroll and just scrolling backwards through those 300 and something projects until I can find the solution to whatever question is being asked. So I hope to get all of mine organized, get my links updated, all that kind of thing. And hopefully that this new feature in Design Space helps me do that. I hope it helps you as well. And I hope this video helped you understand how it works. And hopefully it helps you stay a little more organized in Design Space. Even if you're new, start using it straight out of the gate with your projects when you save them, save them to that collection. Trust me, you will thank me later once you have 300 and something projects in Design Space and you're able to easily find them with the collections function. So I hope this helps. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about project collections or any other feature of Cricut Design Space, feel free, drop down to the comment section and ask away. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have Cricut videos every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. Thank y'all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.